And he said to them, Truly, I say to you, that there are some standing here who shall not taste of death at all until they see the reign of Elohim having come in power. And after six days, Yahusha took Kepha and Yaakob and Yohanan and led them up on a high mountain alone by themselves. And he was transformed before them. And his garments became glittering, exceedingly white like snow, such as no launderer on earth is able to whiten. And there appeared to them Eliyahu with Moshe, and they were talking with Yahusha. And Kepha responding said to Yahusha, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here, and let us make three booths, one for you, one for Moshe, and one for Eliyahu. Because he did not know what to say, for they were exceedingly afraid. And there came a cloud overshadowing them, and a voice out of the cloud saying, This is my Ben, the Beloved, hear him. And suddenly looking around, they no longer saw anyone with them, but only Yahusha. And as they were coming down from the mountain, he ordered them not to relate to anyone what they saw, till the Ben of Adam had risen from the dead. And they kept this matter to themselves, debating what the rising from the dead meant. And they asked him, saying, Why do the scribes say that Eliyahu has to come first? And he said to them, Eliyahu indeed, having come first, restores all. And how has it been written concerning the Ben of Adam, that he is to suffer much and be despised? But I say to you that even Eliyahu has come, and they did to him whatever they wanted, as it has been written of him. And coming to the Talmudim, he saw a large crowd around them, and scribes disputing with them. And immediately when all the crowd saw him, they were greatly alarmed, and running near greeted him. And he asked the scribes, what are you disputing with them? And one of the crowd answering said, Teacher, I brought you my son who has a dumb spirit, and wherever he seizes him, he throws him down, and he frosts and gnashes his teeth, and he wastes away. And I spoke to your Talmudim that they should cast him out, but they were not able. And he answering him and said, O oh, unbelieving generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring him to me. So they brought him to him, and when he saw him, immediately the spirit threw him into convulsion. Falling on the ground, he rolled about frothing. And he asked his father, How long has he been like this? And he said, From childhood, and often he has thrown him both into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if it is at all possible for you, have compassion on us and help us. And Yahushua said to him, If you are able to believe, all is possible to him who believes. And immediately the father of the child cried out and said with tears, I, I believe, Adonai, help my unbelief. And when Yahushua saw that a crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to him, you deaf and dumb spirit, I order you come out of him and never again enter into him. And crying out and convulsing him much, it came out of him. And he became as one dead, so that many said that he was dead. But Yahusha, taking him by the hand, lifted him up and he arose. And when he came into a house, his Talmudim asked him separately, why were we unable to cast him out? And he said to them, It is impossible for this kind to come out except through prayer and fasting. And going from there, they passed through Galil, and he did not want anyone to know. For he was teaching his town in them and said to them, The Ben of Adam is being delivered into the hands of men. They shall kill him. And having been killed, he shall rise the third day. But they did not understand the word, and they were afraid to ask him. And they came to Kephar Nahum, and having come into the house, he asked them, What was it you disputed among yourselves on the way? And they were silent, for on the way they had disputed with one another who was the greatest. And sitting down, he called the twelve and said to them, If anyone wants to be first, he shall be last of all and servant of all. And he took a little child and put him in their midst 
and taking him in his arms, he said to them, Whoever receives one of such the little children in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me, but the one who sent me. And Yohanan said to him, Teacher, we saw someone who does not follow us casting out demons in your name, and we forbade him because he does not follow us. And Yahushua said, Do not forbid him, for no one who works a miracle in my name is able to readily speak evil of me. For he who is not against us is for us. For whoever gives you a cup of water to drink in my name, because you are of Mashiach, truly I say to you, he shall by no means lose his reward. And whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to stumble, it is better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were thrown into the sea. And if your hand makes you stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life crippled than having two hands to go into Gehenom, into, into the unquenchable fire, where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. And if your foot makes you stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life crippled than having two feet to be thrown into Gehenom, into the unquenchable fire, where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. And if your eye makes you stumble, pluck it out. It is better for you to enter into the reign of Elohim with one eye than having two eyes to be thrown into the fire of Gehenom, where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. For everyone shall be seasoned with fire, and every offering shall be seasoned with salt. Salt is good, but if the salt becomes tasteless, how shall you season it? Have salt in yourselves and be at peace among one another.